A Jacksonville police officer with a history of confrontational traffic stops. We've reported on him before after a local couple took out a restraining order on him for harassment and stalking, and after a local military veteran accused him of racial profiling and excessive force. But in this exclusive on your side investigation, our Ann Schindler reports it's no longer just suspects raising concerns about this officer's actions. Now local prosecutors are raising red flags as well. I'm Officer Peppers. The reason I'm stopping you, the reason I'm stopping you is because your tent is far too dark. The traffic stop started cordially enough. Okay, it smells like marijuana coming from the vehicle or from one of y'all. So turn the car off and then just step out. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do a search, okay? At least at first. Because you are eligible for arrest, he is eligible for arrest. I was pulled over for my car. Put your hands behind your back. Officer Justin Peppers began handcuffing Sean Hester when things escalated quickly. Go ahead. Keep talking. What you said was, I pulled over. Don't grab on me. Don't grab on me like that. Well, you're definitely going to jail now. That's called bullying, man. Bully? I didn't even do it. Put your hands behind your back. 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 Out me. You're under arrest. Stop it. Get out of me. We're resisting. Put your hands behind your back. You hit me. You just punched me. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. Stop it. You just punched me. You're under arrest for battery. Fuck you, I'm gonna punch you. Battery, I ain't punch you. Stop. I ain't punch you. How the f you gonna take battery? Whenever you're ready. You just punch me in my head. Your back. Put your body cam footage is shocking to watch. Put your hand behind your Put your hands behind your back. But that's not why it caught the attention of local prosecutors. According to an email last year from the chief assistant state attorney to the undersheriff, Pepper's report got it wrong. He arrested Hester on charges of resisting with violence. Put your hands behind your back. But according to prosecutors, it was Peppers who was violent. Get hands behind your back. And it wasn't the only time. Give me your ID card. In this body cam, Peppers stops Javarius Bell on a scooter for a traffic violation. I'm going to just show you. I ain't going to give it to you, though. You You're going to give it to me. I'm going to show you. But within yeah, seconds. 2183 is about to fight me. I'm gonna, come here. Put your hands against the car right now. Put your hands against the car. Get down! Right, Lay down! Go. Lay down! Go ahead! Lay down! Go ahead! Lay flat right now! Both incidents were highlighted in the prosecutor's email to the undersheriff last March. It cited inconsistencies between what Pepper said happened and what actually did, saying, quote, officer in both cases appears to assert initial aggression and then charges resisting with violence. Lay down! This isn't the first time Officer Peppers has had these issues, though, with people on traffic stops. First Coast News crime and safety analyst Mark Bachman notes JSO's early warning system was designed to flag officers with patterns of troubling behavior. We know that there is intervention that's done or supposed to be done. Warning signs include car crashes, misconduct allegations, use of force incidents, and a lot of arrests with resisting charges. When an officer experiences three or more in a three-month period, a report is automatically generated. Three such reports in one year, and the agency is supposed to consider an intervention. Hey, he ain't had to push her like that. Records obtained by First Coast News show Peppers exceeded that warning threshold in 2019 and again in 2020. 24 total incidents, including four misconduct allegations and 16 uses of force. So what do you do as a supervisor? What do you do as an agency with someone like Officer Peppers? Is he a bad police officer? No, I don't think he's a bad police officer. He's trying to do his job, but maybe, just maybe, he needs a change of an, of, of a, an environment for the time being. Prosecutors dropped the resisting with violence charges in the two cases they flagged. But while they're raising concerns about Peppers' credibility to JSO, it hasn't stopped them from calling him to testify in court. Put your f***ing hands behind your back! JSO and prosecutors declined interview requests for this story, but Bachman says, at least internally, the pattern of behavior is something that both agencies and the officer are going to have to address. And he's got to address it in a certain way where it doesn't always mean you have to slam somebody on the hood of a car. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. Put your hands behind your back!